coming right at you. 933KFM. Welcome back to this last segment of the 933KFM Hot Set. This show is live on www.kfm.co.ug. It's also live on um, the, the on YouTube. Uh, it's being run on uh, YouTube. And you can follow us and send us messages uh, via our Facebook wall. And, of course, the tradition of 6933. Um, Ongole Charles says, Oil delays are a factor of intransparency by power sharks who seek to anchor themselves as perpetual beneficiaries, authors of the biding oil curse. That's Ongole. Jackie, the resignation of these uh, resignations of these ministers, 142 billion Uganda shillings, walks out. The Observer of Friday did a fantastic job trying to break out. Was it Friday or Monday? Eh? Monday. Monday, mm. trying to break out what this money could, could do have done. Yeah. or could have done if it were available. Uh, you, you look at the figures that are given to Molago, the figures mm-hmm. that are given to all uh, regional referral hospitals across the country mm-hmm. and what they could have done and the conditions that exist there. Then you have ministers announcing they have resigned. And the president confirming he has received their resignations and they have moved away. But the question that was asked, do people know or care who a minister for general duties is or what they do beyond the people in uh, Katikamu, Luero, who are his constituents? Who know our son is also in the eating and the government, a big government vehicle, sometimes with the, with the security drives past and they can maybe pick milk from his farm. Do people know or care um, who Saida Bomba is, whether she resigns or doesn't resign? That is putting it in the broader national context, not in her constituency mm-hmm. or even Kabakumba. How does, uh, how do the rest of us fit into this whole thing, this whole discussion of a more people demand a more frugal government, people demand a more service-oriented government, people demand a more responsive government. You see, Charles, I think um, the ordinary Ugandan who is struggling to put food on the table, to educate their child, to access a hospital, and when they do, that that hospital has the required personnel and the medicines, to travel on a road without fear that, you know, their vehicle will collapse, whatever that vehicle is, from bicycle to, you know. I think at the end of the day, if there's no difference made, no net difference, you know, again, like, no, we don't care if all of them, in fact, go, if those fundamentals are not sorted. And I don't think they necessarily will. Um, a friend of mine actually commented recently about the resignation saying they were even smiling while they were giving their <laughs> their statements of resignation, meaning that there's even no shred of remorse. So so why should I even, you know, you and again, the whole issue around, yes, you'll resign. I will not recover that money mm. or or yes, maybe we shall. But of course, again, uh, they shall say we don't have a, an IGG that's constituted again. Who does it go back to? So it, it all becomes, you know, a, 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 an exercise in futility. Yes, maybe there is the show that we are trying to address corruption, but we are, I mean, we have such a backlog of corruption. Dealing with three ministers in 2012 does not address the backlog of corruption since Uganda started or since even this government started. So it's it's not even making a dent. And like I said, as long as it, it doesn't address these fundamentals of my daily existence, of that woman that you were talking about, who still has to walk home probably to a small shack that has no light, that has no drainage, that, has, that, uh, that will flood mm. now that the rains have started and she could be swept away we do storm. not care who Bumba is how many of them fall in fact and and that is what we need to be concerned about what delivers that it won't be ministers falling Godba, Uganda it marks 50 years this year in October October 9th Uganda marks 50 years as an independent nation and people have been looking for that independence and they can hardly find it is it all doom and gloom mm-hmm. is there light at the end of the tunnel if there is a tunnel at all no, I, I personally, uh, I really, I, I think that Uganda, uh, Ugandans are a resilient people because uh, every time we've had uh, crises of, of a nature like the one we, we are almost experiencing, um, once in a while we really come up and we are able to pick up the pieces and we are able to mm. soldier on. Just You're resilient in spite in of the stage, bad. not because yeah. of the <laughs> stage. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. So uh, my, my thinking is that uh, right now, and, and I have really said this uh, previously, so I, I can just repeat it uh, now. Uh, that the, the challenge that we face as a country is, is both a political and a policy challenge. That our policy, our policy direction is distorted 
uh, and you can learn this from the budget You're the way we spend a direction. The, the the way we spend our money uh I have I've, uh, I have Actually, these figures that I've been showing people that uh, actually when is you look is it the way we spend our money or the way government spends our money the, because the, of difference. course it's the way government spends our money that's really what but I'm talking who about who is the government yeah no no this is clear uh, angelo they, no, they, they I, it's, it's not clear no, uh, no, you, the, you just recently held a, a large meeting with, with yeah. local governments yes nobody used to run a government mm. in fact if you look at grand corruption versus corruption at, yeah. at l local level yeah. you will see that a lot of the money that leaves the door goes through uh, uh townships no but, but you elite. see but you mm. see that's, that's the point i've government. been making mm. like corruption mm. it is exported from the center that corruption you see at LC1 level, it is exported in the sense that because the top guys here who are supposed to be providing leadership have demonstrated that it's okay to steal. Even the LC1 chairperson in your village is going to try to steal. In fact, it is foolhardy to try to go uh, the way parliament has been doing you go for a cow and an accountant somewhere in some town in some town council in Queen and some other places you, you call districts you don't know unless the president of this country uh, comes out and says you are you are you are vice president Bukenya you are minister so and so you are minister so and so I gave you a job to organize Chogam and look after Ugandan taxpayers money the money got lost it doesn't mm. matter whether you are the you one who stole it mm. what matters is that you you were given a job you failed to do it so you are sacked go home you would see everybody below begin to scamper but to the to the extent that the president continues the to yeah. give mm. protection to these people to defend them and to take no action and uh, any effort that you try to do at the lower level up to ROC1, they won't bear The people fruit. who say mm. that the example of Makubuya and uh, Bumba is an indication that the president is beginning no. to distance no. himself. <laughs> no, this is, uh, the, the, you, you know, he was pressed it's between... It's not him, a, he was avoiding Yeah, it, he was pressed mm. between a rock and a hard stone. Uh, in this case, he really didn't have much, uh, uh, many options, if anything. No, in well, fact, he didn't sack them. So you, you give them, a, and so they, when they, they resign, the it's like it is yeah. them which they, which, that which, have which done it. Charles, you should return, mm. and we can we can discuss this. What I contest, Godbars, uh, and the comments of their panelists is that we have the tyranny of personalities called leaders. No of liver reconstruction because leadership it, mm, yeah, now the it, day yeah. you start talking about the quality of leadership then we start we stop talking about leaders mm. god by here wants the, the quality of society to, to 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 change but he addresses everything to who to the president and he complains about presidentialism mm. i i would i would i would i would tell you god by today i am much more confident about where is uganda is going because i see the chaos the tagging <laughs> and and, full and 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 pushing between the institutions. Mm. I said to you earlier today that functional separation is at full blast, and that the the, mm -hmm. the minute the minute that the, the chaos addresses anything else, leaders, then we are in what? Okay, we're in a good place. We we got to get out of here. Time is up. But uh, your last word, no, but the problem is not primarily that of laws. It is mm. politics. Mm. It is a political problem. Yeah. The legal problems are secondary. Yes, Jackie, Korea. your last word. I think I, I totally agree, and I address um, face on the the question of our leadership and our governance. We are going in circles, as we said in the beginning. Godba, I think I would just emphasize the point that uh, actually Jackie made that even the question of politics can be solved if we have leadership. What this country is lacking is leadership. <laughs> Gentlemen and lady, thank you very much for making time for the show. Thank you very much, Robert Mushabe. Thank you very much, Jackie Asimwe. Thank you very much, Robert Mao. And thank you very much to you all our listeners for joining us tonight, especially those who give us feedback and anyone who listened in. Thank you very much to Nile Gold for sponsoring the show. And from me and Angelo, it is a good evening. You're talking about Chogam and someone decides to build a hotel and close a road and no one can access it. I was wondering if the owner of Hotel Triangle also decides to close Buganda Road and then the one of Metropole also decides to close the other one. I don't know how we we went across us in the road. The road. Oh man. <laughs> Thank you very much and uh, join us again tomorrow for another exciting discussion right here on 933 KFM. Hot it. Have a good evening.
KFM Hot Seat. The hottest debate on all relevant topics, live. Every evening, 7 to 8 p.m. KFM Hot Seat, in association with Nile Gold, a crystal malt lager beyond an ordinary malt. I can never, ever thank mum and dad enough for who they've been and what they've done for me. The money I send back home won't ever come close to paying them back. But every time mum gives me a happy call to say thank you, or dad sends a text saying, God bless you, I'm excited that I can give them the same joy they give me. Airtel Money is a simple, secure, and instant way to send and receive money. Because we understand it's more than the money you send, it's what your money can do. <laughs> send and receive money. Top up, pay your bills, access your bank account, and withdraw Airtel Money across all InterSwitch ATMs countrywide. So, visit any Airtel shop today and register your SIM card. Airtel Money helps your money do more. Forex rates on 933 KFM brought to you in association with Crane Forex Bureau Kampala Road, Crane Forex Bureau Speak Road, and Red Fox Forex Bureau Kampala Road. Open from 8.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. seven days a week. The U.S. dollar is buying at 2,325 and selling at 2,335. The pound sterling is buying at 3,694 and selling at 3,710. The euro is buying at 3,097 and selling at 3,110. The Kenya shilling is buying at 28.1.